good morning YouTube it's run run and I am back with another video so it's been like a few days since I posted you guys I know I look a mess I'm waiting on getting loaded right now I'm in Chicago um the last vlog that I posted I said something about going to Cali I was supposed to be going to Cali so there was gonna be a good trekking vlog I was gonna do like a coast-to-coast -coast trekking vlog and then I ended up needing a 34 hour and they took that load off so, because I have yet to do another trucking vlog, I figured that I would come on here and just answer some questions that you guys have been asking about KLLM. A lot of people have been like, do you like it? Like, how's it going? You know, just asking questions about it and stuff. So, I just wanted to come on here and do a video that I just didn't need to edit or didn't need to spend a lot of time on before I get loaded and um, put some content out for you guys but also answer questions. I did go live on YouTube for the first time yesterday and y'all showed so much love like there were so many people on it I was able to answer so many people's questions and stuff so I will be doing that more often um, that way you guys get your questions answered and I'm able to kind of have more of that one-on-one -on -one type of um, vibe with y'all instead of just you know posting content and not being able to answer everybody's questions and all of that um, so first things first, I know I'm probably going to miss a lot of the questions that get asked frequently. If I do, go ahead and comment any questions that I don't answer that you guys have with this company um, or just with trucking in general. But this is going to be more based off of just KLLM things. So I just wanted to, first of all, oh, I think I'm about to get loaded, you guys. Now you go back, open your door and find the back to please. Okay. Thank you. Alright, hold on you guys. Okay y'all, I'm sorry. This is a different position now, so different lighting. I'm just going to hold the camera, that way it's not really bad lighting. Um, but anyways... Where was I even at? I don't think I started talking about anything. So basically, a lot of people have been asking as far... Um, let me fix the camera you guys, I'm so sorry. Okay, I think that's the best that this quality is going to get today, you guys. It's a little crooked. <laughs> Hold on. Um, so a lot of people ask about pay, of course. That's like the main topic in any discussion with trucking. Um, so I'm at a little over a year of experience, you guys. And I am right now currently making 65 cents a mile. So another thing is a lot of people ask me in my company or in my lease, my truck had said lease on the outside just when I got it. I don't, they just didn't take it off, I guess, when I got it. But I'm a company driver. Um, I will not be leasing through a company. I don't think it's not anything that I'm really too fond about. Um, I know a lot of people do it. That's good for you. If you make good money, that's great for you. Again, I'm trying to just do everything myself. I want my own truck. I want my own authority. I don't want to be attached to nothing. So, yeah, I'm company driver. They started me at 65 cents a mile with about a year of experience. And one thing about this company, you guys, first of all, I want to say I love it here. I just, I haven't really had any issues yet. Um, it's always going to be something with a company, you guys. Until you have your own truck and you can do what you want to do, it's always, you, you're going to be able to find an issue anywhere. But you have to look at the bigger picture of everything. So... I overall you guys I love it like I'm getting the miles ever since I started I've hit 3,000 miles a week which is right where I want to be like with Swift I was not getting miles I was getting shitty pay it was just a whole thing KLLM you guys the miles are here the money's here um, a lot of people ask do I mind like the reefer the reefer trailer um, I like doing new things you guys especially in the trucking industry I want to experience everything as it is so I do want to get my endorsements too I don't currently have any endorsements I do want them but yeah I'm the type of person I want to experience it the whole the whole everything I just want to experience so with that being said reefer it does not bother me you guys it is a few extra steps that you do have to take of course you want to make sure the trailer is cleaned out for the next shipper you want to make sure you know your reefer temperatures are right you know all of that stuff but it's really not that big of a deal you guys a lot of people will say like oh I can't sleep with the trailer because it turns on and off and it is pretty loud but I'm like a very heavy sleeper and honestly the reefer noise puts me to sleep in a very weird way um, so I don't mind it as far as um, schooling a lot of
lot of people ask, does KLLM have a school? They do offer school. I'm not sure how long it takes. You guys can just call a recruiter um, and talk to a recruiter about everything. See, you know, if this company would be a good fit for you or anything like that. Uh, they, one thing about this company though, they don't go to Love's. Like for fuel and anything like that, you can go to like Speedco's and stuff there. But as far as fuel goes, they do not use Love's, you guys. And if y'all know me, you know I'm a Love's girl. So that is going to take some getting used to. I hate pulling up to Flying J's and Pilots and TA's. It's just not my cup of tea. It's not my thing. They give off very much ghetto vibes. I like hearing the little ding ding welcome to loves I love it it's just the whole experience of it all um, and taking clean showers so it's gonna get some getting used to um, but I'll be damned if I spend $16 on a shower every other day every day no thanks so I'm getting used to it kind of at pilot but I don't know y'all it's it's gonna take some getting used to but as far as like even just the terminals at KLLM you guys it just like it feels so homey like it I don't know it just feels like it's home like the terminal I should do a terminal tour when I'm back in Morrow but literally it's like they have like a big like kitchen with an island they have like TVs everywhere couches they have like it just feels like they actually care about you and honestly they really do they really they really do care compared to some other companies I know KLM is nowhere near as big as like well, I can't even say that because they do have different divisions and stuff. People do ask me also, like, what's the difference between KLLM and FFE and this and that? Honestly, guys, I could not tell you. You have to talk to a recruiter about that. I know, like, one of them bought one of them out, and it's just, these trucking companies are just, I, I don't understand it. But I'm not too sure what the difference between them is. I know that, like, we're still connected somehow, some way. Somebody bought somebody out. That's all I know, you guys. So I don't know what the difference in pay or what the difference in anything really is between them. So you would have to talk to a recruiter about that. Um, a lot of people have been asking as well for like my referral code. So I'll be putting that in the description box below and I'll probably also put it on the screen for you guys. I think that you can just put my full name as well, but I'll give you guys my driver code to put um, because I'm not too sure how it works here or anything like that. I never really refer people to companies, but I know a lot of people do want or have asked for that. And also when it comes to referring, if you guys do have three months of experience and I refer you, I get something out of it. I get money out of it. So if you do use my referral code and you start with them or whatever, and after your first dispatch, I get my money, whatever the case is, um, I do want to like give back to you guys that do go because obviously I'm getting money from it. So I want you guys to get something from it. So I most likely, if you guys do use my referral code, just, um, DM me on Instagram and let me know that you used it and whatever and just um, I will be doing something for you guys like a gift card to Walmart for a few hundred dollars or something to get your truck right or stuff like that. I also want to start doing giveaways and stuff for new drivers just to make them you know just I just love when I see new drivers come out and get into this industry because it's it's a life-changing industry and you really can use it to your advantage but anyways back on track with um, just questions that I've been asked and stuff uh, that has been my pay like I said they have miles you guys they have the miles so like I was told in my previous company like freight is low da, 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 da. no this company will not hit you with that bullshit if you want to run you can run as far as home time goes every oh I'm gonna start shaking y'all they're rough loaders here um, as far as home time goes, every seven days that you are out, you get two days of home time. So you can hold that home time up to 14 days, you guys. You can take two weeks at a time of home time, but after seven days of home time, they want your truck. So basically, you can take the two weeks at one time, but you'll have to clean out your truck before you go home because they will give you a new truck when you get back. I don't really understand that because if they earn that home time, I don't get why they have to clear that truck out. Um, me personally, if you guys know me, you know that I don't go home. I don't have a home. This is my home. So that isn't really an issue for me. But again, I don't really understand that whole thing. But you do get two days of home time every week that you're out. So that's pretty dope. It also is paid home time, you guys. I, I don't know. I never heard of a company giving paid home time especially not like a big company but 
Yeah, they give $100 every day that you're home. So that's pretty dope as well. Um, the loads here are pretty heavy usually, at least the loads that I've had. So I definitely always weigh your loads, you guys. I'm at the point where I've been driving long enough to know, like I can feel when a load is overweight or super heavy. So I know when I have to weigh and when I don't. Not all paperwork will tell you how much it weighs. So just make sure you're always weighing just to make sure that you're not gonna get hit with the ticket. Um, but yeah, you guys, I love it here. Just to give you guys a little update, I just wanted to put out a video. It has been like five, six days since I posted, and I just wanted to post something really fast and quick before I get on the road that didn't need to be edited or none of that. So I just wanted to put this out there. I know I am forgetting some of the questions that you guys do ask me often. I was trying to just do it off the top of my head. But any questions that I missed, um, any questions that I did miss, just go ahead and comment them and I will try to reply to you guys. I did go live yesterday and you guys showed me so much freaking love. So I will be going live more often to answer questions and kind of have that more one-on-one -on -one type of vibe with you guys. Um, but yeah, that is about it as far as this goes. I love it so far. Um, I'm only about a month in. I don't even think it's been a full month yet, but like I said, every week that I have been here, I've been able to run. And keep in mind too, I'm still learning the system. I'm still like not really, you know, getting used to the reefer, getting used to being back OTR, getting like, I have to literally change everything. Um, because of the fact that I was dedicated for so long and Swift didn't run me like that, that now I have to figure out how to work my hours to make it most beneficial to me to be able to make the hours on time. One thing about Reefer too is the like hours for pickup and delivery vary, so like your schedule is going to be constantly flip-flopping, constantly. So like sometimes you'll be driving nights, sometimes you'll be driving days. I'm the type of person, I'm like wherever the money's at, I'm at. I don't really care about not being able to like sleep the same time every day. That's just not, I just don't care about stuff like that. But that is one thing about it. You will never be able to just stay on like the same cycling schedule, which I don't really think that's just reefer though, but I do notice that it is worse with reefer because of just the time frames of some of these deliveries and stuff that you don't really see or I didn't really see with drive in. Um, but yeah, you guys, go ahead and follow me on Instagram too because I do go live on there. I will put it right here and also in the link in the description of this comment, uh, this video as well. Um, my Instagram and TikTok are the same. They're at Baby Naya. Um, but yeah, I go live on there every now and then. And then I also, like I just said, we'll be going live on YouTube as well to answer your questions. But if I missed any questions that you guys um, have been trying to ask about the company or anything like that, please, please, please comment. And if you don't have any questions, but you just want to comment to say hello, comment. Let me know how you guys have been. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and y'all, I cannot believe that we hit 16,000 already. Like, this is just insane. I love you guys. The support you show is literally crazy. Sorry. Are you done? It's okay. But, yeah. So, somebody's walking near my truck, you guys. But yeah, so that is going to be it for this video. I'm going to hurry up and upload this before I get on the road. I will be doing trekking vlogs very soon. Um, like I said, I just wanted to upload, it, upload something that didn't need to be edited and stuff. I do have some videos that I need to go through and edit, but that takes hours. And I just wanted to put something out for you guys. Um, because it has been a few days, like I said. But yeah, I love you guys. I hope you all were safe this Memorial weekend. And I hope y'all had a good time and I will see you guys in the next video.